how to update your Android Studio to the latest version and update your Kotlin version to the latest version. Let's go. This is your project, your maybe a project that you want to do on Android Studio. Um, this is your XML activity. If you want to use XML, either you want to use XML or Compose. So it's just your choice or jetpack compose i mean then um you can you can update to the latest android studio by going to the sdk manager then you check on updates then you click check now um the thing about it is you need internet service to do this so you just let it run for some time and allow it to check for updates if there are updates it will come up but if there is no update it will still alert you so let's wait for it as it downloads the update all right now we have the updates so it is telling me to update from Kotlin 2031.6 release to 211 1.6.01 release so I also have Kotlin multi platform for mobile which is KMM um, I don't think I need this so I'll check it out I'll, I'll, I will update it also uh, let's go back let's just click check now so that you see everything that we need yeah the latest re um, stable release of android studio is now available for download which is android studio bumblebee 2021 1.1 1 .1. so we go ahead and say update and restart so update and restart you click ok so you can see your updates here you wait for it to download it to take some time for it to download so you just wait for it so your IDE is preparing to be updated um, we downloaded the login updates and then uh, the Android studio updates so let's wait for it to finish up download of the Kotlin multi-platform mobile before we proceed so we are done downloading let's now restart yes so we wait for it to extract the patched file and then update the Android Studio. Well, this looks good. This is the new uh, Android Studio Bumblebee 2021 1.1. Now the plugins are migrating. So we wait for it to download. So <clears throat> we wait for the new uh, studio to load up. It will take some time as it is the first build since it was updated. So let's just wait for it. It's already loading. It depends on your system's uh, processing capability. 
now it has finished up loading or oh, it's just a demo project that I have in here so it will ask you some questions because some uh like the adb sometimes in uh, the firewall interfaces with it so you have to allow it to have access so allow access now so what's new on your android uh, studio bumblebee these are the things that are new on this new uh, IDE you have unified graduate test runner here you have the test suite android studio android graduate plugin android graduate test and all that so you have a new in layout inspector a new device manager new in-app inspection and then the emulator runs inside the studio by default uh, there have been so many improvements on this i remember in uh, some years ago you can't do this but there has been many improvements on this so um wireless debugging too now you can pair android studio now supports the wireless debugging feature in android 11 and her devices pair and deploy your application from android studio over wi-fi without using the usb cable or managing adb connections that's great that's great it's a great improvement um compose interactive preview or uh, when you start developing you use the uh this to preview or stuff when you use a compose android uh, what do you call it um when you use compose so animated vector drawable avd preview so the avd has a better preview uh, so this is the latest Android Studio. It was updated on 25th of January 2022 and today is 27th of January 2022. So this is the latest version of Android Studio. So let's review the things we've So, uh, this is it. This is the latest Android Studio Bumblebee and how to update it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share this video. Thanks.